All right. Howdy, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil Zero. It's been way too long since I last played this game. And I figured I might as well get back into it. Resident Evil Zero. Hmm. I'll admit, I don't exactly remember what we were up to or what we were doing. And that's okay. Because it's like... I get to do things all over again, in a way. There's the faint sounds of footsteps, those of survivors. Good God. Okay, so apparently we unlocked a bunch of the doors. Oh yeah, we have access to outside now. That's fun. Hmm. Though it still seems like we can't really go anywhere because the bridge is down. Alright. <sighs> I should be asleep, but I'm not. Alright. So, I'll admit, um... I'm really lost right now. There's no response, looks like it's not getting any power. Looks like it needs a battery. No, nope, that's all right. You stay here. Okay. Let's go. Okay. That's not right either. There we are. Hmm. Thing gun and train key. Hold of cocktail and shotgun ammo. Mmm, hunting knife, handgun, shotgun ammo, shotgun ammo, gas tank. I have all the shotgun ammo, but no shotgun. I don't think either one of us are holding it. Yeah, no. What else? Alright, um... I don't know what to do or where to go, so why don't we try heading to the basement? Or something. I know there's an entrance into it somewhere. I just, um... I don't remember where. That leads back down to the train crash. Um... This way? Yeah, it's this way. I can't remember why, uh... Right. The steam. I can't get down there, can I?
Yeah, that figures. I still can't get past this. And I don't know where to go to turn that off. Um. No. I don't want you in charge. It's a girl's mission, man. Okay. Um. So I can't get down there. That's the train crash. Weird, there's still a door to unlock. And a section I haven't gone to yet. But I don't think I have the key for that door yet. Hmm. I never did like that cinematic. Yeah, sure, let's climb the ladder. Um, yeah, so... It is currently... <coughs> oh. Oh, I'm so sorry to anyone who's just... Who, his eardrums I just blasted. <laughs> it is currently 8.32 p.m. I have to be ready for work by 9.30. So yeah, I really should be sleeping right now, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, that's the knife I dropped. through there either. Interesting. All right, now let's go check out that one door. There shouldn't be any noises going on up here. Unless... <sighs> Shit.
creatures up here. Do they respawn? Last time I came up here, I got jumped by a freaking group of psycho creatures. And what is the significance to this room being blue? Is there... do I have a file about the map? Manual one map. These locations are already visited. Blue room, your current location. Oh, <laughs> okay. Green room, visited locations. No color locations not yet visited. Red door locked. Yellow door unlocked. Okay, that's all I needed to know. I don't like that I can hear sounds coming from in here. Locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. Hmm. There's a message carved into the control panel. The three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. I. Okay, this probably unlocks that door, but... Hmm. I feel like this is relevant right now. The moon bows to the earth, the sun swears loyalty to the sun. Or wait, what? <laughs> the moon bows to the earth, the earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you did get a strange chemical. Puzzle that we never solved, didn't we?
Whoops. Alright. Alright, so this is probably a puzzle for a completely different time. And again with that sound. I get the game's trying to be creepy, but that sound indicates that there is something still in here. realized that I completely got off topic of where I was trying to go in the first place. This is the room with the locked door. Um, I don't need that right now. Right, water motif. Second, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I feel cheap for this, but it's literally the only thing I'm gonna do. Well, the only thing I can do. How cheap for doing this, but Sorry about this, it's just that I literally don't know what to do right now.
has fill in it. Really? Why is that in here? Do I have this? I I mean, I guess it's about time for him to get a new suit, but when did I unlock this? Probably overkill, but oh god, kill it with fire. Ew, 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 ew. Monitor room. Neither of you are gonna mention the plaque. Institute inmates list. Hmm. Matthews, K. Deceased. Disposal complete. Mitch, D. Deceased. Disposal complete. Keith, W. Preserved a specimen. Savage, C. Transported to research facility. Hmm. Rice M. Transported to research facilities. David's A. Preserved a specimen. Clark A. Transported to research facilities. Ellen's J. Transported to research facilities. Terence O. Kate A. Gary O. Scott S. Hmm. Arkley Laboratory. Mitchell F. Carrie T. Roberts A. 
Transported individuals to be deleted from the records. Hmm. I'll take the ink ribbon. Can I really save here? <sighs> Observation room. What are you observing? Hmm. Looks like I now have access to the basement. second okay I should still have a good 10 minutes or so left um I don't like this I'm almost there well, I'm glad I could be of service time to go inside Okay, I'm just gonna leave Billy in the safe room with all the safe stuff. I don't want to have to worry about him. <laughs> no, let's not fuck with any of this stuff yet. Oh. oh, this thing's an electric chair, but it's covered in spikes. Yes, pick up about the power rig. Uh, one second. Yeah. All right. Okay. about the power regulator. 
Due to the recent lighting lightning strike, the power regulator continues to be inoperative. It wouldn't really matter about the power, except for the fact that the boiler room equipment is on the same grid. <laughs> the equipment is so run down, I'll probably have to have it fixed up all the time. If you wish to exit rapidly Rapidly set the indicator to 70. Check first, though, that everything is connected to the chain. these things in here? I mean, sure. Up. Down. Up. screw this up. So, wait, I already know that four and five aren't enough. No, two, four, and five aren't right.
so that gets it up to 50. What happens if I go down? Ooh, right, right. Oh, shit, 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 yes! Okay, um... Then that should just be 4 and 5 again, right? Hey, I did it! Uh-oh. Oh no. You are wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing. And I am very territorial. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Evil monkey. Oh, I did not need that. How do I fight again? Oh. Okay. It just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? Hmm. I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat uh. training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Hmm. Uh, oh. again I How can I R1 
Oh. Oh, that's not good. You just reach down and grab her. I wait. Fuck, I'm confused. What? Okay. Um. Seriously? I supposed to know simply getting to her wasn't good enough. Oh, I don't want to deal with you right now. You've had your chance way too many times, and you never took it, so... Fuck off. Wrong door.
Hey. Where the hell am I? say I don't know where the hell you are no I have no idea where I am and the developers thought this was a good idea really I mean, yeah, I probably made it harder on myself by completely disarming the stupid idiot. But still... A monster-infested area... With no indication whatsoever of where I'm supposed to go. Rebecca, why can't you just save yourself? Keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca. Over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. <laughs> so much for my great law enforcement career. <sighs> I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Oh. Story arc. Yes! Our unit 
was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. Uh -huh. In the end, only four of us survived. Only, there was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Do it! Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. It's depressing, but... He has a point. What's the shiny shiny? Okay, he'll take some of that. Good god. No loitering. Well, no shit. Okay, so... This was a major pain in the ass that was completely unnecessary. I like that we got a little lore out of it, but still. Trying to find this girl was just a major pain in the ass, not to mention a waste of time. So I'm... I'm gonna end this video here. Like, comment, maybe subscribe. If you got any complaints, put them in the comments below, because I know I certainly do. That whole scene was just so unnecessary. Good god.